Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 8 new syllabus second chapter Linear Equations in One Variable. Let us see example 1. Find the solution of 2x minus 3 equal to 7. Let us see the solution given equation is 2x minus 3 equal to 7. Here in this question we need to find the x value. Here on the left hand side we had per x value excess number is minus 3. So we have to remove that value. For that reason we are adding 3 to both sides. So we need to add 3 on both sides of the given equation. So it becomes 2x minus 3 plus 3 that equals to 7 plus 3. Here plus 3 and minus 3 will be cancelled. Here we had only 2x that equals to 7 plus 3 means 10. Now for this x value we had 2 that is 2 into x. So to remove this 2 we are going to divide both sides by 2. So 2x by 2 that equals to 10 by 2. Here 2, 2 were cancelled. Here 2 table 2 ones are 2, 2 fives are 10. Therefore we got x value as 5. Therefore x equal to 5. See now example 2. Solve 2y plus 9 equals to 4. Let us see the solution given 2y plus 9 equals to 4. On transposing 9 to RHS, it becomes 2y equals to 4. Plus 9 becomes here minus 9. So 2y equals to 4 minus 9. That implies 2y equals to 4 minus 9. That is minus 5. Now we are going to divide both sides by 2. So 2y by 2 that equals to minus 5 by 2. On cancellation, we got here y equals to minus 5 by 2. In 7th class, we learnt about linear equations, both transposing and without transposing method. First sum we have done without transposing. Here second sum we have done by transposing. See here, on transposing what will happen? Plus value will become minus or minus value becomes plus. Next, on transposing multiplication will become division or divided by will become multiplication. So we have to remember. So here plus 9 is given for the variable we are having here plus 9. So this plus value plus 9 on transposing it became minus 9. Again if we transpose here also, here multiplied by 2 it becomes divided by. Or we have done in another way. That is dividing both sides by 2. So any of the two methods we can use to solve the linear equations. So here in our sum we got here y equals to minus 5 by 2. See now example 3. Solve x by 3 plus y by 2 that equals to minus 3 by 2. Let us see the solution given x by 3 plus 5 by 2 that equals to minus 3 by 2. See here for variable, here we are having 5 by 2. Here we shall remove this 5 by 2. For that we are going to transpose this 5 by 2 to RHS. So plus 5 by 2 on transposing it becomes minus 5 by 2. So x by 3 equals to minus 3 by 2 minus 5 by 2. That implies x by 3 equals to here denominator is equal. We shall take the numerator part minus 3 minus 5 that is minus 8. So that implies x by 3 equals to minus 8 by 2. 2 table, 2 ones are 2, 2 fours are 8. Now we have to remove this 3. For that we are going to multiply by 3 on both sides. So x by 3 into 3. Here we had minus 4. That multiplied by 3. Here 3, 3 were cancelled. And here minus 4 into 3 that is minus 12. Therefore we got x value as minus 12. See now example 4. Solve 15 by 4 minus 7x equal to 9. Let us see the solution given 15 by 4 minus 7x that equals to 9. On transposing 15 by 4 to RHS it becomes plus 15 by 4 on transposing minus 15 by 4. So we have written minus 7x equal to 9 minus 15 by 4. That implies minus 7x equal to here 9 below no value is there. That means denominator 1 will be present. So LCM means we got here 4. 
Now multiply these two 9 into 4 36 minus 15. That implies minus 7x equal to 36 minus 15 that is 21 by 4. Now dividing minus 7 on both sides. Here minus 7 minus 1 cancelled. And here multiply the numerators 21 into 1 21. 4 into minus 7 that is minus 28. Therefore we got x equal to 21 by minus 28. In 7 table 7 3s are 21, 7 4s are 28. Therefore we got x value equals to minus 3 by 4. See now exercise 2.1. Solve the following equations. See the first one x minus 2 equals to 7. Here to remove this minus 2 we are going to do transposing. On transposing minus 2 to RHS, RHS means right hand side. So x equal to minus 2 becomes plus 2. So 7 plus 2. Therefore x equal to 7 plus 2 means 9. Therefore we got x value as 9. See now question number 2. Y plus 3 equal to 10. Given equation is y plus 3 equal to 10. To remove this plus 3 we are going to do transposing. On transposing 3 to RHS plus 3 becomes minus 3. That implies y equals to 10 minus 3. Therefore, y equals to 10 minus 3 means 7. So, we got here y value as 7. See now third sum 6 equal to z plus 2. Now, we are going to remove this 2 so that we are transposing 2 to LHS that is left hand side. So, plus 2 becomes minus 2. So, 6 minus 2 that equals to z. That implies z equals to 6 minus 2 means 4. So, we got z value as 4 here. See now fourth sum 3 by 7 plus x that equals to 17 by 7. To remove this 3 by 7 we are going to transpose this 3 by 7 to RHS that is right hand side. So x equal to 17 by 7 plus 3 by 7 on transposing it became minus 3 by 7. Next x equal to here denominators were equal so we have written here by 7. And take the numerator 17 minus 3. That implies x equal to 17 minus 3 that is 14 by 7. 7 tables and 1s are 7, 7 2s are 14. Therefore x equal to 2. So finally we got here x value as 2. See now question number 5. 6x equal to 12. To remove this 6 we are going to do transposing. On transposing 6 to RHS that is right hand side x equal to 12 by 6 that is 6 is going to multiply on transposing it becomes divided by so x equal to 12 by 6 6 table 6 ones are 6 6 twos are 12 therefore x value equals to 2 see now 6th one t by 5 equals to 10 now we have to remove this 5 for that we are going to transpose 5 to RHS here 5 is going to divide on transposing it becomes multiply. So t equals to 10 into 5. Therefore t equals to 10 5 is a 50. Today we have seen class 8 chapter 2. Examples 1 to 4 and exercise 2.1 1 to 6 sums. In the next video we shall see remaining sums of exercise 2.1. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.